Greetings and salutations. I'm Gil. And I'm Gil. This is Strategic Prepper. Welcome to our highlight reel on uh, YouTube. The full video uh, is on Patreon and we'll have more information on that at the end of this video. Welcome, welcome everyone. This is part of our new series. Um, we call it our philosophy series. Is that what we call it? Yeah, I think we're going to call it, we're going to call it our philosophy series. We want to discuss a lot of the whys on different aspects of preparedness. And today we're going to talk about why we prep. We talk a lot about the how. Uh, you see that in, in uh, our channel, a lot of other channels, a lot of that, the, you know, how to do this, how to do that. And uh, so we want to get in the uh, little deeper part um, on the whys. We know that bad things happen. Yeah. All right? Yep. I mean, they do happen. That's a fact of life. These threats are real. For us, we want to be able to keep our families safe, our friends and families, and provide for ourselves. And, and also, it, it puts us in a position, uh, really a position of strength to help other people, potentially. If you yourself are struggling to survive, you're struggling to feed yourself, feed your family, helping others is, is not even in your world of possibilities. And that gives us the freedom and the resources and the capabilities yeah. then to be able to help others. Well, and you get to be part of the solution. This is an issue that people in our community, our oh, uh, yeah. preparedness, our readiness, our self-reliance community, uh, they talk about. Go ahead. I was gonna say, so people say, oh, I'm not helping anybody. If you're on my property, I'll shoot you. I'm like, well, first of all, it's extreme. You're gonna shoot someone from walking on your land? That's idiotic. You're not gonna make it that long. So there's, there's a practical side to being careful who you help because it's a security. You got a, a mom and dad, a couple of small kids, and you know they're knocking on your gate, right? They're knocking on your gate. I hope I didn't set the dogs off. I was like, please don't. Leave. <laughs> yeah. uh, so they're knocking on the gate. We're hungry and all this. So again, each situation is different. There are no freeloads to keep yourself safe. To so to keep you in a position to help more people. That's to do the, about. to do the most for the most. Yep. To do the most for the most requires some discipline and mm -hmm. some control. My goal. Um, is to be as self-sufficient or, or self-sufficient to the point where when something really big and really bad happens, that the adjustments that I need in my life is fairly minimal or negligible. The less debt you have, the more freedom you have. When I have that freedom, that means I'm not focused inward when bad things happen because the inward is taken care of. You have to take care of the inward. Mm -hmm. So we do this when times are good, yep. right? So of course it's a little more work, but freedom takes a little bit of work. The more you rely on people, uh, the more you're controlled by their demands, right? In, in most cases, we're talking the government because a lot of stuff is controlled by the government. Yeah, I want to be as self-reliant and as free to kind of do what I want. So the thing is, we want to be free. Yeah. So if they say, do it our way or else, I want to be able to say, I don't care what you're doing because I'm free. All right, thanks for watching. This was a uh, highlight video on one of our uh, new philosophy videos where we take that deep look into some uh, topics. So join us on our Patreon site where we've got the full discussion for you. Patreon is a member site where uh, we provide deeper content and you have an opportunity to support us so that we can continue doing this. So again, I hope you enjoyed the highlights. The full video is on Patreon and please join us there. Stay safe and stay prepared.